Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you why your vocals sound so thin whenever you do a mix down. Now, one of the reasons why your vocals sound so thin is because of over EQing, avoid over EQing. Let me just load up FabFuda Pro EQ. Avoid overdoing the low cut. Make sure that you don't overdo it. Put it in the range where the vocal still has that body. For example, like this. I'm going to play the song and then I want you guys to listen to it as I roll off the low end. Here we go. I want you guys to tell me where the vocals feel like they sound natural and at the same time the low end has been worked on just a little bit to remove that mud. Here we go. I think around 139 is much better. Make sure you roll off to about 190, 100 somewhere there. Don't overdo it. Now I'm gonna overdo it so you guys can listen to how it sounds like when you overdo the low cut. Avoid doing the low cut. Here we go. So whenever you overdo the low cut, you end up having a thin vocal. Now, many, many producers don't get to tell this because whenever you roll off much of the low cut, the vocal stands out and also starts feeling as though it is very good. But when you take it out into other speakers and suddenly you just realize, man, the vocal has no bass. There is no body to the vocal. What happened to the body? The problem is overdoing the locker. I'm just going to put it on a hundred and fifteen somewhere there. Listen to it. We still got the body and the vocal still sounds natural. Then the second thing is over EQing the mids and also over raising the highs. Here is what I'm talking about. over EQing the mids and also over raising the highs like this. Whenever you do this, you are killing your vocal. The body is not going to be there. Your vocals sound clear, but as soon as you mix down and take it out there, you will come to realize that there is no body to, to the vocal. Then you're like, what? is wrong with this mix the problem is over cutting the low over cutting of the mids and also over raising of the highs and because of this a lot of people feel like they are not great producers and yet the only problem is over eqing then the other problem that a lot of people i'm just gonna drop this overloading of unnecessary plugins avoid overloading unnecessary plugins if you don't know how to use first of all i advise you to be able to learn a certain plugin if it works for you continue using that plugin and don't change it the problem is when you are using different plugins which you don't know a lot of these plugins come with uh, default settings and some of them come with a lot of high a lot of low a lot of mids you may not even be able to tell the difference so what i advise is start with the plugins you know better you know how to use a good mix is not about a lot of plugins it's about how well you're able to utilize one plugin over a thousand plugins never you think that Putting a lot of plugins is going to change your mix. It is about knowing how to use that specific plugin. So avoid over EQing, that is cutting too much of the law. Then avoid over EQing of the mids, of avoid cutting this area, over cutting. Give it maybe a 2, a 2 dB cut or a 1.5 or a 3 dB cut. Avoid over raising the highs. Give the highs about three or two, 
plus 2 db somewhere there these are the tips guys and i hope you liked the video if you liked it give me a like if uh, you're not a subscriber please subscribe to my channel